welcome back to physics classes class 6 matter chapter is going on last class we have learned about matter and its states with examples today we are going to see what is matter comprised of what is matter comprised of so my dear students in class 5 you are learning science i hope you have heard the words molecules and atoms so we are going to discuss about molecules and atoms today we have seen things like rock water trees human beings around us so here rock water they are non living things trees human beings are living things but living things and non living things both are made up of molecules and atoms the smallest particles of matter is molecule and molecule is made up of atoms the smallest particle of matter is molecule and molecule is made up of what atoms of different elements molecules are made up of atoms of different elements i hope you have understand like molecules are the smallest particles of matter and molecules are made up of atoms so we can say that atoms are the building blocks of matter like example you have house and house is made up of bricks each brick you can consider as molecule or atom now elements there are 118 elements in our periodic table this periodic table you can see in your chemistry book chemistry book or in your lab note book so from this 118 elements different compounds are forming compounds are forming like example very exa easy example is water the chemical formula of water is h2o here hydrogen h stands for hydrogen h stands for hydrogen and here two atoms of two atoms of two atoms of hydrogen are here 
and one atom of oxygen is here. Combination of these two atoms and one atom gives us one molecule of one molecule of one molecule of water. Therefore, finally we can say that the smallest particle of matter is molecule. This molecule can exist independently, can exist independently means it exists in free in nature like oxygen gas we get in this form in nature. Oxygen combines with different elements to form compounds that also we should keep in mind. So, in next class I will describe few things about this all today up to here for this. Now, we are going for characteristics of solid today we are going to see characteristics of solid characteristics of a solid. So, my dear students you have seen so many solid objects around you. So, we can note few things by viewing those things only like first thing is number one is or number A is it has definite shape definite shape it has definite shape example you can see nearby things like chair table television utensils etc so therefore we can say that solids have definite shape number b it has definite volume it has a definite volume. So, volume means what? In mathematics class, you have known that three dimensions object where height is given, length is given, and breadth is given. So, the space occupied by this object is called as volume. So, every solid objects are having a definite volume. This also we can observe by seeing any solid objects. Number C, it may get heaped. Heaped means what? Gath gathering at one place. Suppose you are flowing common salt, on a plate so what you see while well, keeping flowing salt from the packet on a plate it gets heaped common salt gets heaped isn't it gets heaped on the plate so, we observe this also in case of solids, it may get heaped. So, three characteristics we can easily see. Now, from this, 
we can say that solid have definite shape solid have definite volume and solid do not flow they get heaped they do not flow they do not remember they do not flow another important thing we can see is solid solids do not need a container to hold them so every solid objects we do not have any container to keep them isn't it we keep a solid on the table it remains like that only anywhere you keep it the solid remains like that only so finally the definition of solid is what a material that has definite shape definite shape a material or any matter that has definite shape isn't it let us write a material that has a definite shape and definite volume and about free surfaces we can write it can have can have any number of free surfaces so it's called solid now my dear children this any number of free surfaces i think here you are getting confused so let me discuss this one you see a solid object like duster or geometry box geometry box okay suppose this is a geometry box and this is a duster this is just a this is geometry box so these two are solid objects now here how many faces it has it has six faces every cuboid and cubes are having how many faces six faces isn't it so these faces are the free surfaces these faces are the free surfaces so solid can have these are regular shapes so it has six faces there are irregular objects like rock so num any number of free surfaces a solid have thank you